Welcome back to the workshop. Today, we're gonna to use a tiny computer to control this. All right, so why would you want to do this? For my own sake, I always hated using my laptop to run my CNC because the machine generates a ton of dust. That dust can get sucked up into the computer's intake fans, clogging them and ultimately damaging the computer. But a Raspberry Pi has zero moving parts and no fans, so there's no way for it to actively draw in dust. Plus, the Raspberry Pi is only $35, so if it ever gets damaged, it's cheap to replace. Okay, let's get started. The Pi setup for this build is super simple. Just use Pi Bakery to create a full Raspbian image. We'll want to be able to access the Pi remotely, so set it up for your Wi-Fi network and SSH. Burn the image and put the SD card into your Pi. For this project, I'm using the official 7-inch Raspberry Pi touchscreen. I use these standoffs to mount the Raspberry Pi. I don't care about the actual touchscreen component, so I'm only plugging in wires to power it and plugging in the Pi's display cable. I've packaged everything up in this enclosure that I found on Thingiverse by designer Luke E. You can find a link to it in the description below. It mounts securely to the display and closes up using some M3 screws. I'm also using this tiny wireless touchpad keyboard combo to interface with the Pi. And it's also what I'll be using to control it in the shop. But first, let's power up the Pi and get everything set up on it. The software I'm using to control the CNC is called Universal G-Code Center, or UGS. This is a Java-based CNC control software developed by Will Winder. Just clone it from the author's GitHub repo to start using it. You also need to install a package called Maven using apt-get. Navigate to the Universal G-Code Sender folder and then run the runplatform.sh script. Your first run of it will take a while. It needs to compile a bunch of stuff. Plug in your CNC into any available USB port and turn it on. When UGS finishes loading, refresh the available ports on the UGS and then press connect. Go to the machine control tab and make sure you can jog the machine head around. If you find the display is a little bit cramped, edit the config file in the boot folder. Uncomment these two lines and then type in the resolution you want to use. 1280 by 720 is a great start, but I found that 960 by 540 keeps things a little bit more readable. You'll need to reboot for these changes to take effect. For my own setup, I've added two rails to mount the Pi to the underside of this shelf, and there's a little rack to store the keyboard as well. I've also added some strips of 3M dual lock to help secure the Pi in place. I've added a link to those rails in the description below. Now, UGS doesn't generate any G code for you. It just runs the code you feed into it. You'll need a piece of CAM software to create it first. There's plenty of options for you, but my favorite is Fusion 360. It's free, it has a ton of different path options, and you can generate code for hundreds of different types of machines. For an example, I'll cut out these Vice soft jaws. It's a few pocket cuts followed by a contour to cut the parts out. Select all of your tool paths, go to post process, and then set your machine to generic gerbil. And then output the file. Save it anywhere you like. You can move your files over to the Pi using a thumb drive, but I prefer to upload them wirelessly using a secure FTP client called FileZilla. Back on the Pi, the first thing you'll need to do is set your zero point. Move the bit so it's at the zero point on your stock and then confirm it. Fusion 360 CAM files tend to act a little unpredictably if you don't have a machine home set. So as a precaution, I always set that next. Raise the bit about an inch above the stock and then type in the command G28.1 into the console. Hit enter and you should see a confirmation. Go to the file tab, load up your G code file, and when you're ready, turn on your router and hit play on the file. So that's my new CNC setup. I've been using UGS on a Raspberry Pi for about a year now, and so far, I haven't had any troubles. I'm really looking forward to this new minimalist setup. My home shop is really small, and this lets me use my space more efficiently without the need for a full-size monitor. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video or learned something from it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. We'll see you next time.